be pretty much the, the most gain you're going to get in an omnidirectional. And of course, when the band opens, you know, you want the repeater to be true omni. You need uh, as much in, in all directions. So that's what we're using. And they're a fantastic antenna. So doing good on the repeater. X, Kilo, 6 Yankee, Yankee, Lima. Well, hello there. Yeah, but your signal was booming in and now it's starting to fade a little bit. So uh, I was going to ask about um, all your setup there with your repeater and everything. And I know you just had said that to the other gentleman there. So um, hopefully the band will come back. Yeah, you're full quieting that time, Kim. Good evening to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's only about uh, one third of it. Not even that. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, uh, gosh, uh, I'd say one eighth of the repeater. There's a pile of stuff in the machine here, but uh, uh, that that part of the ten meters. Yeah, yeah. The seven or only one. Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, and and repeat that part, the the part of the machine you said. There's a 2 meter 440 and 6 meter on here with multi receivers as well, but that's a whole other story. Okay, very good. And what is the, you said you have two antennas there, and I think you said they're 20 miles apart from each other? That's correct. Uh, the main receiver site is in Shedden, Ontario, along with the transmitter. They're about two miles apart. The transmitter site is a high gain super penetrator, uh, custom built, modified for 10 meters. Uh, 80 feet, and the receiver antenna in Shedden is another the identical antenna, and it's miles away on a tower, and those are the main receiver transmitter. And then we have another receiver in, in the town of city of London, Ontario, on an apartment building rooftop. It's about 175 feet, and we used an Antron 99 with about 5 inches clipped off the top of it to tune it up for 10 meter, and that's on top of the building, and that's voting back into the Doug Hall voter here. Uh, and that's, that's our second receiver for 10 meters. They're about, 20, well, about 18 miles apart. And uh, again, the super penetrator ground plane is bringing in more of the DX signals than the Antron. I'm, I'm watching signals here on the motor as we're talking, as it's in my garage out back of my house. And that the Antron is definitely not the uh, number about it. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, I, and I have some background noise here. <laughs> My husband and son are doing some projects in the uh, garage, so unfortunately, um, now I'm having to listen to that. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, man, it was great the other day. You were just amazing copy the other day. I could have handed you a cup of coffee. It was just an incredible, loud, stable signal. Now today, there's some QSB, but boy, it's sure been fun uh, working you from Southern California all the way there into Canada. on your signal. I think there may be other stations trying to get in on that as well. I'm seeing the lights come on while I'm talking here. But hey, it's great to talk to you. And by all means, uh, I'm sure we're going to have lots of band openings. So if you want to, uh, if you want me to go through the system, I'm happy to do that for you. Let you know what's running up here. But it's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, and I'm recording right now. Um, and if you want to tell me all about it, you can go ahead now, or we can wait till the band may be a little more steady. But I'm going to probably upload our conversation to my YouTube channel of K6YYL. That's my YouTube channel where I just kind of fiddle around with stuff, record things, and put them up there. Mostly ham radio related, some camping, and then other mis miscellaneous things. For sure. Yeah, thank you. Probably be able to get uh, others in the area. It's a lot of fun, and uh, we're glad it's operating. Uh, but yeah, whenever you want, I can explain to you uh, the, the systems, the radios we're using. We're using Motorola receivers and Kenwood transmitters, and uh, all kinds of odd little things we've learned along the way building the repeater. Is another 10 meter 
station out there trying to put him there. The E3 airway. Yeah, there's a seven station. Uh, uh, there's a, it looks like there's a seven uh, station in there, guys. Okay, Mike, I won't hold it. I think somebody wants to get a hold of somebody here. So, but I will say 7-3 for now, and then we'll we'll make another contact and another video, and I'll upload this one um, to my YouTube channel, um, and it probably take me, I don't know, a half hour or so. Um, but I'll probably, if, if you have an email address on your QRZ, I will uh, send an email and let you know I got it up there, or you could just look on my um, YouTube channel of K6YYL. that channel. All right, thanks, Kim. Uh, seven threes and uh, other stations on 10. Uh, go right ahead, BE3 MMX. I am hearing you. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to tie up their repeater here, but go ahead. This is Kilo, Kilo 6 Yankee, Yankee Lima. Okay, I copy the uh, N6 Sierra Papa Papa. I think you said, uh, do I have it correct? N6 Sierra Papa Papa, is that Eric? Yeah, Roger, Roger, Kim. Eric, we worked uh, January uh, 2019, January 2019. Uh, 10 meters, I was in my car, and I was, uh, I was mobile, and you were uh, uh, N6 Sierra Papa Papa. Okay, right when you said what I was doing, <laughs> repeat that part. I didn't quite copy that one. Go ahead and repeat that part. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, we, we worked in 2019. 2019 on 10 meters phone. Uh, let's see, I got you as uh, outside of Riverside. Okay, roger that. Yeah, I got you there. I see we did work, yeah, January 23rd of 2019. Well, thank you very much. Nice to work you here through the Canadian repeater. And thank you to Mike for letting us uh, connect again here. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Mike. 7373, I'll be back monitoring K6YYL. Hello, Van. WB7UZO, Van. Oh my gosh, here we are uh, monopolizing Mike's uh, repeater. Go ahead, Van. Uh, WB7UZO, wonderful to hear you, my old friend. Okay, Kim. Yeah, yeah long time no here there. Uh, we'll run into you on 17 there, uh, perhaps there. I'm going to tie it up. Got you in the logbook for FM there. 73, uh, Kim. 7-3, and we can we can go down to uh, 29-5. Uh, we can go down to 29-5 and make a, a simplex contact there to, to Van. I'm not hearing you direct at all. I checked the input. No direct. Okay, darn. Okay, well, I will be parks on the air this weekend down at Silver Strand State Beach. So um, my son will be here, you know, uh, taking care of uh, all the animals here. So, but um, we'll be out uh, parks on the air this weekend at Silver Strand State Beach. Okay, very good. We'll look for you there and uh, give you another park to park there. G6 YYL, WB7 News at all. Thanks, gentlemen, for letting me uh, oh my goodness, okay, the WA6 station, go ahead. Copy that, that uh, you're copying me through the, the repeater there um, and not direct, copy that. You're, you're uh, Jim in Martinez, California, nice to hear you there, Jim. Something on uh, on 40 meters or something. 
sounds very good, Jim. Sounds good. Yep, I'll, I will. I would love to do that. And uh, listen for me this weekend coming up. Seven three two, Jim. W A six E K S from Kilo Six Yankee Yankee Lima. What what band are you gonna be hanging out on? Uh, I will try to do uh ten through forty and some six as well. Uh, I don't really have anything at, at the moment for 80 at the moment. 75 or 80, I don't have that at the moment. I, I do have the uh, a shark antenna for that, but I got to get a, a a base for that. So, but anyway, uh, probably yeah, six through 40. Okay, sounds good. 40 it is. All right, thank you very much, and thank you again, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, seven three from Kilo Six Yankee Yankee Lima. Take care, Kim, uh, and uh, you can. Y'all are welcome to use the repeater all you want, anytime. That's why it's on the air it's for everybody. V three of Mike seven three. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mike. I really appreciate that. That thank you so very much. Uh, again, yes, thank you very, very much. 7-3 from Kilo 6, Yankee, Yankee, Lima. 